Hey everybody, this is Jeff Butts from the Mac Observer, and today I'm going to talk to you about assistive touch. Now, this is a really cool accessibility feature that is helpful for anybody who has problems pressing buttons or doing different gestures or taps or pinch and zooms on the iPhone screen. So, let's take a look at how to turn on assistive touch on iOS. What you need to do is go into settings and then scroll down until you find accessibility. Tap that. Scroll down to touch, tap touch, and then tap on assistive touch and turn it on. Once you've got assistive touch turned on, you can customize the top level menu. This top level menu is the white circle that you can see on the screen. You can configure different buttons within that menu to do different things. You can add and remove buttons. And some of the options include activating Siri, activating Apple Pay, locking your screen, doing a long press, taking a screenshot, and so on and so forth. There's also options where you can change what happens when you single tap. By default, that's going to open the top level menu, but you can set other options there. You can also configure what happens if you double tap on the assistive touch dot. To launch an app, for example, if you have a shortcut for that app, or activate one of your other shortcuts. There are a lot of options here, and uh, the best thing to do is just to explore the options, see what works for you, and make the most of assistive touch on your iPhone or iPad. One last thing to note is that you can move the assistive touch dot wherever you want it to be to get it out of your way. Just tap and drag it and it'll move. And you can do that even when you're in another app just to get it out of the way. So just play around with it. Enjoy the, the functionality it provides you. And until next time, have a great day.